Hey! I'm Shelly. I'm like so happy because I was like just selected to be the student body president. Now it's my job to plan the most epic back to school party in the history of the school. But first I have to estimate some products to figure out how many supplies to buy. I just learned how to estimate in third period math. To estimate means to round the number to the nearest place value to make it simpler to work with, but keeping its value close to what it was. We are expecting a crazy number of kids. 287 students. Like, whoa, that's a lot. Everyone loves snacks so I want each person to have 18 snacks. I need to estimate about how many snacks to buy. I don't have time to figure out an exact number, so I will just round to make the numbers easier to multiply. 287 is more than 200, but less than 300. It is closer to 300. Each person should have about 18 snacks. 18 is more than 10, but less than 20. It is closer to 20. To estimate, I will multiply 300 times 20. I'll ignore the zeros for now. 3 times 2 equals 6. I need to add back the 3 zeros from the numbers. That makes 6,000. Since I rounded both numbers up, that will definitely be enough. But, wow! 6,000 snacks! I better go to the store, like, now. But first, I need to make one more estimation. We are going to have a photo booth at the party. The teachers will want in on that too so I am planning for 352 people to take 124 pictures each. I want to have plenty of photo paper for the pictures, but I don't want to have like a ton left over so I'm going to estimate. 352 is more than 300, but less than 400. It is closer to 400. Each person will take 124 pictures. 124 is more than 100, but less than 200. It is closer to 100. To estimate, I will multiply 400 times 100. I'll ignore the zeros for now. 4 times 1 equals 4. I need to add back the 4 zeros from the numbers. That makes 40,000. That gives me a good idea of how much to buy. 40,000 pieces of photo paper. Wow! Oh my gosh! I have a lot of purchases to make so I'd better head to the store like now. Bye!